You know, we live in a time where all we hear about is negative news. Sunday, a man with a gun came through the doors of a Pennsylvania church. The pastor saying the gunman smiled at him before bringing the service to a stop. Shifting our focus now to late breaking news from the Middle East. Good evening and welcome. It was Iran who struck tonight in the ever spiraling cycle of violence in the Middle East. The U.S. says around 200 Iranian ballistic missiles launched from Iran rained down across Israel this evening. This evening, Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu making clear there will be a response. But such was the force of Hurricane Helene that nowhere in its path was safe. This is an unprecedented storm and it's causing us to have an unprecedented response. Many as 600 people are still on the missing list as search teams fan out across the state, navigating the worst flooding to hit the region in a century. They're also asking anyone who stayed to write their names in permanent marker on their arms and legs. That way they can be identified if they're found later. Uh, it has dropped. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize, this is just horrific. We're going to turn now to new information about that deadly shooting at Joel Osteen's mega church in Houston. We're seeing new video showing the chaos Sunday as the shots rang out. Police say the shooter was a 36-year-old woman with a history of mental illness who had attended the church in the past year. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. If God is for us, who can be against us? The harvest is red and lift up your voice because Jesus is alive. And I just said, God, how in the world are we going to come together and unite on one mission to turn America back to God? And God said to me, when they take your kids. We are in a divine moment of time. Every single capital across the United States, what you're seeing is what is happening. Men and women, mama bears and papa bears, standing in 50 states, declaring the word of God, praying, fasting, and standing for the rights of our children and for our families. And it is time. It is time now. It is time now. It is time now. God says, stop delaying the process. Stop waiting. I see some of you have been waiting on things. And God's saying, I'm waiting on you. Stop waiting. And power is changing hands in the spirit. The Lord is busy bringing down the strongholds and the ruling spirits over this area that have controlled your mind, your heart, and your life in the name of Jesus. And God is saying, I'm giving you an anointing to call the Esther's, to raise up the Esther's, to raise up the Deborah, to raise up the Samuel, to raise up the Elijah. And God is saying from this house, they shall go to the government and they shall start and they will start infiltrating the government from the top to the end. And God says, it will no more be business as usual. Even called you by your name, and I have named you, though you have not known me. 
I am the Lord, and there is no other. It's time. I'm going to believe in prophesy. Millions are going to raise up. Every man of Mordecai, every woman of Esther, we must move together in a united movement to save this. Jesus is love.